Hi guys and welcome back to today's video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys what I keep in my beach slash pool bag. This is the bag I've been using. It's just a rose gold Victoria's Secret bag. One of those bags you get if you spend a certain amount of money. I go back and forth between this and like the Lululemon shopping bags. It really just kind of depends on how much of this I'm actually bringing. I don't always bring literally all of this to the beach or pool. It honestly just kind of depends on which place I'm going. Am I on vacation going to the beach? Am I just going to our lake beach, public pool, my friend Cami's pool? Like it really all just kind of depends on the day. So I just kind of combined everything and put it in a bag for the sake of this video. Without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and jump on it. Like I said, I've been using this rose gold Victoria's Secret bag, just one of the free ones you get when you spend way too much money there. You guys already know. And I have lots of stuff inside, so we are going to jump on in. The first thing is my phone. I always bring this with me everywhere, duh, because it's my phone. I don't need to elaborate on that. Um, also, depending on where I'm going, I'll have like my car keys, my wallet, stuff like that, but I did not put that in my purse, so. Also, I did not put a towel in here for this video because most of our beach towels are packed right now because we actually We'll leave for Florida in a couple days and I am super super excited. I have lots of beach videos planned for you guys. Super excited. So that is why a towel is not in this bag because they're packed for Florida. The first thing I'm going to pull out of here is a swimsuit. Obviously you gotta have a swimsuit if you're at the beach or the pool. This is just kind of a random one I threw in here for this video. It's from Cup She. I love how strappy the back of this is. And then these are just the bottoms. They have little oranges or something on them and then some strappy sides but yeah I just obviously have a swimsuit with me because you can't swim without a swimsuit. The next thing is a hat because y'all know how painful it is to burn your scalp okay like that is next level pain and I always forget to put sunscreen on it so I bring a hat with me this is just the one I have in here right now it's a CC hat let's find the logo one of these hats I know you guys have seen like the beanies and stuff by them well, they make cute hats too and this is just like mesh on the back and it is crisscross because you can put like a ponytail or a bun through it which i think is so cool i was so excited when i got i think my mom got this for us for easter she got us like beach stuff because we're about to go to florida duh. but yeah this is super cute and it has some like distressed um details to it i can link this down below she got it on amazon so i'll have to find it and link it down below for you guys but this is seriously so stinking cute love this hat you guys know how i feel about leopard print next is a water bottle obviously you have to stay hydrated when you are in the sun you have to stay hydrated anyways but especially in the sun and if you're swimming and stuff you need to be drinking some water this is just a hydro flask it's a nice blue color super pretty love it so much if you don't have a hydro flask or like an insulated water bottle like this you should get one because these are seriously so nice it stays cold forever your ice lasts forever they're just super nice next thing i keep in here i actually just talked about in my may favorites video if you have not watched that i'll link that down below but it is a pair of sunglasses these are my most recent pair they're by the brand diff eyewear and i will link these down below they're also linked in my favorites video if you watch that these are the black tahoes you can see my little setup in the reflection right there. I actually really need to wipe them off, but these are the cutest pair of sunglasses I've ever owned. I just love like big dark sunglasses and these are absolutely perfect. They are a bit on the pricier side, but they are buy one get one free. So you do get a free pair if you buy a pair. Um, I think they're worth it. They're super cute, super nice. I always keep a pair of sunglasses in there. This is just... This pair has been my go-to lately, so I've been loving these a lot. Next, I just keep my Maui Bay Browning Lotion. This was also in my favorites video, I believe, which is funny because I'm talking about all the things twice. Um, I get this on Amazon. Once again, I'll link it down below for you guys. This is the best tanning lotion ever. It's not super oily, like a literal oil, so you do not like fry and sizzle with it. It's super, super nice. And I don't burn with this really. So I also like to pair this with this Australian Gold Bronzing Spray Gel Sunscreen. This is a 15. This is usually the only sunscreen I use because 
I just don't really need it. I am very blessed with good tanning genetics and my skin just browns really easily, which is awesome. So this is usually what I'll use. This is the sunscreen I'm going to be bringing to Florida. I'm not going to go without sunscreen in Florida because I am from Indiana. And that Floridian sun just hits different. So I do keep a sunscreen in here. This is just what it looks like. It's Australian gold. You can buy this literally anywhere like Walmart I think has Australian gold I don't really know this is just what the browning lotion looks like this went viral on TikTok last summer when we were all quarantined and tanning in our backyards and stuff this product went viral and it's amazing I still use it a year later next I bring a deodorant because I get sweaty and stinky when I am tanning this is just a mercy handy one they sent this to me for an Instagram collab thing I have the scent flower power these are like clean deodorants. I can't remember. No aluminum, no paraben, no alcohol, cruelty free. I don't know. It's just a deodorant guys. I just buy, I usually buy Old Spice. Next, I like to keep some form of leave-in conditioner in my beach bag, which sounds kind of weird, but when your hair gets super dry and gross from like chlorine or salt water, whatever you're swimming in, or lake water. Lake water is the worst. I hate lake water. It's just super nice to have a leave-in conditioner to put in your hair after it. This is the Tris Sola leave-in conditioner. I don't know. I got this in an Ipsy. It just looks like this. I absolutely love the smell of this stuff. It just smells like vanilla to me. Like it is usually smells so amazing. I love putting this in my hair. And to go along with that, I keep a brush or comb or whatever in there. This is just a wet brush. I got this on Amazon. Just it needs cleaned out. Got lots of hair in it. Sorry. Just a basic black paddle brush. Good to brush out your hair when it gets all tangled and gross from salt water, pool water, nasty lake water, whatever you're swimming in. It is good to have some sort of brush. If you're gonna bring a brush, bring a wet brush though, because you don't want to use a regular brush or just a regular like wide tooth comb will be good but I love to use this. We are just gonna stay on the hair trend. Next, I keep a hair tie. This is just an Invisibobble if it'll focus, just like a blonde colored one, pretty basic. And then I also like to keep a claw clip just to pull my hair back with. These are from Amazon. I talked about these in my May favorites as well, if it wants to focus on them. But I will link these down below. These are the only claw clips that can hold all of my hair. I have very thick hair and a lot of hair and claw clips just don't hold my hair up. But these ones are amazing. They come in super cute like aesthetic colors and I just love these a lot. I keep that hair ties, scrunchies, really whatever to pull my hair back in my beach bag. Next, your girl likes to jam when she's at the beach or the pool. So this is just a Beats pill. Um, I can try to find this and link it down below. I got it for Christmas. Um, I assume it's just like a regular Beats pill. Just has all the buns up top. It doesn't really want to focus. There we go. It just has all these buns up top. It is super dirty and gross, but it's whatever. It's just a speaker. But seriously, the speaker is so bomb. If you don't have like a Beats pill or anything, you should totally look into them. They're super nice. Next, you know your girl has to keep some snacks in there. I don't normally... This is just something random I grabbed from my kitchen to throw in for this video. I like to pack a lunchbox with different like fruits and veggies and cheese and stuff like that in there. I just threw a granola bar in my bag for this video, but usually I have like a 31 lunchbox and we'll just put an ice pack, pack different fruits and veggies just so I can try to eat a little bit healthier. But I always have snacks on me because your girl gets so hungry laying out. I don't know what it is because I'm not even doing any work, but I just get so hungry. I don't know why but always have snacks. The last thing I have in here is just a Burt's Bees chapstick. I always like to keep some sort of chapstick with me just because when my lips get sunburnt, they get super chapped. So, you know, you gotta have some chapstick. Keep those lips nice and moisturized. I absolutely hate the feeling of chapped lips or dry lips or whatever. Mm, I absolutely hate that. So I always have chapstick with me anyways, but I make sure to especially have it in my beach or pool bag. And that is it for today's video. That is all that I keep in my beach and pool bag for right now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up so that I know. Leave a comment down below and subscribe to my channel and make sure that you hit the notification bell so that you don't miss an upload from me. Bye.